Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about a note-taking application that I've been using for a long, long time called Notability, and I think it's the best note-taking application for the iPad. So let me launch this guy and take a look at a couple things here. Now, before I dive into how to take notes, I want to show you the settings. If you go into settings, you will quickly realize that this is a connected application. So you can do backups to Dropbox, Google Drive, and such, and you can manage each account so you can log into your Dropbox account and the backing up is real time at all times so you never lose data which is very important because your data should always be backed up especially things as important as notes so again you can also do this to iCloud so you do not need Dropbox or or Google Drive you can simply use your existing iCloud account to create all the backups and if you ever delete the application from the iPad or you buy a brand new iPad and transfer the application over you can be sure that your notes will be with you a couple other things I want to show you guys is if you go to themes you can actually enable a dark mode to work with if you if you prefer that and you can also make sure that the subjects that you create for your notes can be colorized just like that every color for a specific subject is highlighted for you guys so you can more easily distinguish it if that's what you prefer and of course if you go into a document you can set some default tones for a brand new note let's say that you're creating a brand new note you can tell the uh, notability app that you want always a pink background you always want the lines and you always want to include the time and you always want to give it a certain name okay so every time you create an application it's going to use the default values to create that note so let's stick with the yellow background and let's go with the uh, plain paper and of course if you go into the typing you do have a couple other options and you can also go to handwriting which is an option in this app you can actually handwrite very very e effectively and I'm going to show you how in a couple seconds now there are some standard features here that I do appreciate you've got the mode so you can either have a left-handed mode or you can have a right-handed mode and you can also enable palm detection so when you rest your palm anywhere while writing it doesn't affect the writing so your palm is not going to uh, input anything. Your finger is the one that's going to be doing all the handwriting. Now going back to the application, I just want to show you guys what I did over here. So as you can see, I have three subjects and each subject is color coded. So I got programming, I got photography, I got videography. If you were in school, you could have had mathematics, physics, biology, or whatever. Let me quickly show you how to add a subject so if you press plus over here, it's going to ask you to create a subject and then you tap on that and you give the subject a name. Let's just say chemistry. Okay, and then you click done. And then if you tap on chemistry, it's right there. If you tap on edit and if you click the settings icon, from here you can pick a color for chemistry. So let's go with this color right over here, the blue color, click close. As you can see, chemistry now is blue color. Also, if you go back in here, you can delete a subject, delete this subject, okay? And if you go back into the settings of any subject, you can actually, actually uh, edit the name or you can pick a password. So you can restrict a certain subject from being accessed by other people that are in the app on your iPad, especially if it is a sensitive project that you're working on. This is an amazing feature. Now when you create a subject, you can also create a divider for, for a bunch of subjects together. So let me just click plus one more time and instead of tapping on create subject, let's tap on create divider. Give this divider a name. Let's just type in school, pr pr uh, click done. And now what you can do is you can tap on edit and you can move all these guys under that specific divider which would be school. So all this programming, videography, and photography could be my school notes, whereas I could also have something for home. I could also have a divider for work into which I can create subjects for work and into the subjects I can actually add notes. And let me show you how to do that too. Now let's click done over here. And as you can see, I've got 
three subjects under one divider, which is the school divider. So let's uh, say I want to add a note. Let's just go to all notes. And over here, I do have a note. And as you can see, when I, when I launch this note, you can see a picture, you can see a website right in the, in the note taken application, and I can annotate anything. So if I tap the handwriting right over here, I can create an arrow, and I can take a couple notes right over here in the corner. Now let's say that I want to be very precise in my handwriting. Now with your finger on this screen, it's not very easy to write unless you use this little window. So when you get this window, you've got a small real window right over here. And at the bottom here, you've got a bigger place to actually write. So I can write stuff here easily, okay? And I can write it precisely because I have a lot of space to work with. And all that is gonna show right over here. And then when I'm done over here, I can move this over here and I can write other stuff. I can give the, give the name of this phone so this is an HTC phone. So this is how I can annotate anything within a note. I can import pictures, I can import documents, I can create shapes, and I can import websites, and I can go ahead and I can handwrite right on top of them. This is by far the best feature that I like. The superb, accurate, precise handwriting, thanks to this window, and the fact that you can import and annotate anything that you please. Now I'm going to come back and show you more on how to take a note, but let's go back out here and see how we can uh, organize notes. So this note right over here, the one that I just created, first of all, if I go into it, I can change the name by tapping up here. So I can delete that and say uh, test, click done. Now the name is test. And then let's say I want to put the test note into the photography subject. So I can simply tap and hold and drag and drop any note into any subject. And as you can see, that increments the number for the photography subject by one. So I do know that I have one note under photography subject. So let's just create one more note. Now when you want to create a subject or a divider, you tap plus over here, which when you want to create a note, you tap this button over here and that creates a brand new note. And on this note, you can do a couple things. First and foremost, you can do handwriting like I showed you. So you can take this window, put it anywhere, and start writing very precisely. Number two, you can also highlight stuff. So if you were to import a document, you can highlight and annotate any part of that document. And then you can, of course, take the uh, eraser and delete stuff, okay? and you can cut stuff very specifically. You can simply select something and you can cut it after it is selected. There's nothing here right now, so it's unable to select anything. Now, the other thing you can do is you can add a voice. So if I tap this guy right over here, it's actually recording right now and you can see the actual microphone reading my levels, my voice levels. And if I tap it, it actually stops recording my voice. And then once you have one voice recorded, you can tap this arrow and that's going to bring up a little player which is going to allow you to play that voice message. So you can actually add voice to your documents to make them even more useful. And of course, you can customize your documentation on the fly. So if you tap this guy right over here, you can pick the paper style you want to choose. You can go from yellow to blue or purple on the fly or you have all these different options right over here. Okay, you can do black. Let's go with the yellow and let's add some lines to this document. Okay, so this is all on the fly. So let's import a picture. Click plus and from here it gives you all the options that you have. If you tap on photo, you can go to your photos saved on your iPad, tap on any photo and then you can resize it as you please okay so you can resize the photo you can put it anywhere you want on the document and you can even edit that photo to make it even more um, compact so if I tap this from here I can tap crop and I can actually crop this picture let's just get the phone in there click done and now all I have is the little phone and I can put this right here 
and again I can resize it. So imagine the possibilities. You can import any photo, you can resize it, you can crop it, you can edit it, and then you can actually draw right on top of it. So if I take this pencil, I can point, I can take a note right here, okay, and I can actually highlight parts of the photo if I wanted to. And the good thing is when you take the, uh, the rubber and you try to erase stuff, it doesn't erase the photo. To remove the photo, you simply tap and hold on it with two fingers and that brings up the menu. And from here you can cut it, you can delete it, uh, you can edit it one more time and you can disable the text wrap and you can even add a little caption here. So you can say phone pick. And the only reason I'm showing you guys all this is because I want you guys to see the the possibilities with this app. Of course, if you want to drag around, you use it with two fingers, you drag up and down in the document. You can access all the pages by tapping over here. Okay, so that's first page, second page. You can delete the pages you do not need. Delete page. So now we only have one page right over here. And again, let's take this away, tap the plus, go to the web clip, and let's say you go to the to Wikipedia and you search for an article and you want to actually take that article and paste it onto your note. You click done and there you go. Same situation, same thing that you can do with the picture, you can do with the websites. If you tap edit, you can tap crop and then you can only bring an important portion right over here. Okay, and again, you can take notes onto it. You can highlight. Oops, let's get rid of that. So you can highlight this thing, and you can change the color for the highlight as well. Okay, so I can highlight right over here. Very important um, text. And if I tap this again, I just want to show you, you can change the size, you can change the color of the highlighter as well. And let's not forget that at any time you can actually start typing onto this paper. So if I go up over here, tap this guy, it's going to allow me to write anywhere that I want. So I can also type. And not just only type, I can actually format everything that I want to the same way you would format on a Word document, maybe not at advanced, but you get all the basics. You get the bold, you get the italics, you get the underlines. Uh, you can increase the size of the font and you can also change the font after you select the paragraph that you want to modify. So far, this is absolutely fantastic. Just imagine the possibilities. You can create the perfect note. You can gather information from anywhere. You can take a picture. You can use a website. You can import a document. You can take notes and you can also type. Very good for projects and very good for school work. Now by now you guys should have a grasp of the things that are possible with this note taking application but let me show you two more things. If you press plus you can add figures okay so you tap this thing right over here you pick the figure that you please and then you just draw that and then you can edit that figure before you import it. So let's resize this click done and as you can see, the background is, is actually inherited from the page that you're using. Okay, again, you can take this anywhere. You can resize it. So you can create diagrams of any type, circles, triangles, squares, and just create flowcharts as you want. And finally, you can add some stickies. So if you go over here, you can just pick a blank sticky. And as you can see, that's pretty big, so let's resize it. And I can take this sticky right over here tap anywhere and then I can write on that sticky with the handwriting tool and again you can move everything that you import you can move around or you can delete so it doesn't have to be there permanently so if I tap and hold with two fingers and let go oops at the same time and let go it brings up the option you can delete that sticky if you don't want it there so let's go back out here now we have a brand new note and I can take this note and I can put this under videography and I can add a new divider. I can say I want a section just for work.
click done and now I can create a subject projects and that's going to be under work and again if I tap edit I can click settings and I can pick a different color for work that looks like a very appropriate color for work so close and as you can see that's the color assigned to my projects and if you go back in here you go to themes you can tap on colorful subjects and that's going to highlight it even better for you guys to take a look at so that is the notability application like I said it's connected so you can back it up at any time to your iCloud account so you never lose your data you can also use Dropbox Google Drive or Box and you can search your documents if you have a lot of them okay and you can sort them by name by the date or by the creation date this is the last modified date and this is the date the document the note was created so this is it guys if you're looking for a note taking application for work for home projects especially for school work this is the perfect note taking application it's only six dollars it is worth it you only pay once it's not something you have to pay every month for or every year for you pay the six bucks that's one or two coffees and you have this thing for life and it can also be viewed I just want to let you know that you can download notability for the iPhone and for the Mac and it's going to show up everywhere so you can view these documents these notes that you create on the iPhone or on your Mac well thank you for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel for more videos to come give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you guys the next time have a great day